Do you have any cheese or eggs or any animal products in your sauce? Tell me please, who the fuck puts cheese in sauce? Alright, another episode of Drunk Grilling. This might be thrown as part of a video because it's kind of repetitive. I've already done it once, but anyway. I took some cold, cold smoked cheese into work and everyone loved it, so. Out here I'm going to do some more. Got a hundred dollars of cheese, so I'm gonna load that smoker up. All right, I'm doing this again. I know these are gonna go out, but I'm gonna get it lit doing that. And then I'll put that on there for a little bit. The only reason I'm doing that, I know it's gonna go out, is I like that. Those pellets have a really good flavor blend to them, so after that, I'm gonna use some uh, skeet. All right, I got the. Just keep wood going real good. Go ahead and throw it on the smoker. Got the coals relit here. Got some smoke going now. Going back out here again, getting that box going again with those pellets. I know what a pain in the ass, but man, pellets are good flavor, so let's do it. All right, box is going as good as I can get it. Well, still got a little bit of smoke coming out, but this cheese has been on here for a couple hours, and it's about 10 after 8, and well, one of those work nights, so I'm not going to be out here too late, and smoke a couple hours, going to call it good, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the cheese off, go ahead and show it, although it's probably going to look about the same as it was before. Not much going on down there. Smoke box that a little bit actually. Going on. Anyway, actually, you know what? That cheddar is yellow just a little bit. Well, who knows? Might have some good cheese here. I hope so. 25 pounds of cheese in there. And there's uh, five blocks in a rack. Five racks. Now it's time to vacuum seal 25 blocks of cheese in individual bags. So I'm gonna pull it out and get to it. All right, I'm out here getting ready to grill a pizza. Got the racks cleaned off right now. And over here, in this bowl, I got two teaspoons of sugar, uh, three cups of flour, and some water. And be adding in some yeast. This will be the pizza crust. I'm gonna go ahead and get that mixed up. All right, I got the pizza dough made. It's still got to rise, so I'm gonna take it in where it's a little bit warmer. Wait about a half hour, 45 minutes for it to rise. All right. These are uh, pork sausage balls that we'll be using on the pizza. And over here, I'll be putting some bacon on there, if it'll fit. This is the bacon I cold smoked. About, uh, it's frozen now, but I think I did about two weeks ago. Anyway, I'm gonna throw that on there and get this going. And I'm using mesquite and some of those uh, pellets. All right, we're lit. I'll try and rock this about, I don't know, I'll be happy to go to 300, but I'm gonna cook the crap out of the meatballs. I'm gonna go to about I say 175 or so. All right, I want to show you what all I got out here. I got two packs of pepperoni, a red pepper, some tomatoes, some spinach. I'm gonna take this in real quick, wash it off, and chop it up. Smoke is rolling.
All right, these meatballs are done. They're actually look more than I wanted to, but check it out here. The bacon, I still think, needs a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. All right, so got my pizza pan out here, and if you're interested in this pizza pan, it does open up. There's a previous pizza video, you can watch that, I'll show more about it, but dough here really hasn't risen much, but the amount of time I got, I'm just going to let it do it on the grill, so I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here and um, spread the dough out. Got the pizza dough rolled out, and honestly, I'm kind of debating whether I should use more flour, because it's looking kind of thin, but it hasn't risen either, so yeah, the crust is a little bit thin, but It'll rise up more on the edge than anywhere else. I just checked the bacon and it needs a little bit more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, tomato sauce on here at this point. This uh, pizza sauce. I got a couple jars of this if I need it. Got the whole jar of sauce there. And it's a bundle of stone that putting on here. I know the vegans are beating off right now. This may look like a lot of spinach, but, well it is, but it'll condense down. It condenses down like a lot when it's cooked. So it's not going to be, it's not going to be a big vegetable pizza. I've done this before. And, all right, so I'm going to take these sausages, sausage balls, I'm going to cut them in half and just put them uh, cut side down on here for now. Pure 4K food porn. I'm trying to upload in 4K. See what happens. Sausages cut up on there. Do some uh, red pepper. Put some tomato on it too. I'll probably put tomato on top of the cheese. Because things that are moist, I'm put on top so they evaporate the water to leaking in the pizza. Now the cheese, I'm going to grate up some uh, on that side. Colby Jack that I smoked or cold smoked about two weeks ago and then some of this white American also and we're gonna load this up and gotta have some uh, a little bit of Bacardi Oakheart too. The bottle's almost empty but two and a half pounds of cheese on there American white cold smoke there's some chunks in there but that's all right so at this point I'm gonna add this on shred that up it's uh, Colby Jet, about, eh, about a pound. Put that on there. The bacon on. Put a little bit more sauce on here first. Sorry about that. Yeah, do that first. All right, got some more sauce splashed on there. And that's actually a whole jar of sauce, believe it or not. That's how big this pizza is. This pizza ring is actually 16 inches. So. See, it takes up my pretty much my entire grill. It's, it's massive. Colby Jack's on there. A couple chunks, but... Of losing daylight fast and then I'm gonna slice up tomato the bacon and jalapenos be next and that'll be it all right well this is it before it cooks I'm sure that's all that is and it'll condense down a lot but this is gonna be a badass piece this guy pound of bacon well pre-cooked two and a half pounds of white American about a pound of uh, Colby Jack uh, two bottles of sauce, uh, two pounds of uh, sausage. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a badass pizza. This is a 13 inch pizza stone. It's 16 inch. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this underneath there because it'll help this, this place to eat a little bit better. It'll cook more evenly with this in there. I forgot to put that on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I want to show that. All right, well it's not done yet, but I was being stupid and I forgot the pepperoni, so. We have a pack of pepperonis here. I think one pack might be enough, but I'm gonna throw this on here. This pizza is pretty much done. All right, so let's check this pizza. It should be done. I think that's done. I'm gonna let it cool off. Let's cut into this. And something I didn't show earlier, but what I did, I put a little gravel driveway rock in there 
a prone, why the, would I do that? Well, I want to get a little bit of an angle so back here, all that water and grease will run off. My God! Shit! Papa John's. <laughs> I just got vegan pizza with vegan cheese delivered from Papa John's to my fucking home. Shit! Now my hatred for extremists, patriotic fuckhead vegans was only reinforced recently when a large group of these absolute twat bags stormed a Melbourne steakhouse and carried on like a bunch of fucking pork chops. Poor choice of words, perhaps. Have a look at these malnourished dick sniffers running around ruining everyone's afternoon while people are just sitting there trying to enjoy a $40 fucking steak. I don't want to hear about your love for plants, dickhead. I'm sitting here trying to enjoy a meal that just so happens to be so deliciously nutritious that I'm calm and collected. Because if I wasn't, and you were carrying on like this, I might get a little bit bloody irate! Fucking skinny, pale, malnourished motherfuckers. So what I thought I'd do here is I'd write an apology to the vegan community. So here it goes. Dear all vegans, get fucked. <laughs>